I'm in South London today outside Monad Precision. Now this company is very proud of its history. In fact, it's been trading for over 40 years. They're a big machining business, a precision machining business, and they love their Haas machine tools. I've come here to meet with Jeff, who's gonna to talk to us about the machines that they currently have on site, but not just that, they're having a brand new Haas machine delivered tomorrow. So I'm in the machine shop now. You can see straight away that they utilize the floor space very well here. Now we're gonna go into the milling section uh, where we're gonna meet with Jeff and firstly talk to him about uh, the Haas milling machines and what they do. Jeff, good afternoon. Thanks for inviting us into Monad Precision. Looks like you've got a, a cracking business here. What do you actually do? We manuf manufacture parts for the defense, aerospace, medical and gas and oil industries. So it's quite a, a broad spread. Very much so, yes. And we also range a large range of materials and our size of parts can vary considerably. And this part here, quite interesting because that's a, a that's stainless, looks stainless. This is, this is aerospace stainless. It's part of an in-flight refueling system and we do these on a reasonably regular basis. Okay, now Haas machine tools. You've got your Haas milling machines here. What are they doing on that? Part. This, all they do on this particular part is drill a hole in it, that's all they have to do. I was going to say, because I am an engineer and I thought that's more of a lathe job than a mill. Yeah. Um, on the milling machine side, because we're in this section, how many mills have you got from Hass? We have eight, we have eight Hasses and they're the only milling machines we use. The reason we use them because they fit our business, which is quite small, very well. They have a small footprint, they're easy to work and the operators can go from one machine to another dead easily. There's no thinking about, oh, I can't get someone to use a certain machine because the controls are different. Now, you, you mentioned also a, quite a diverse range of markets that you're trying to satisfy with your machining. That would mean that you'd need these machines to tackle all kinds of materials, because I think you even said to me earlier about duplexes, in canals. Yeah, we use the full range from plastics up to in bars and in canals for all the aerospace standards and then the, the hard, hard steels for gas and oil. And all of them come through this milling everything section? Comes, everything comes through the milling section, completely everything. You've got a lot of staff here, and when you have to train them, if you get somebody new in, how quickly can they pick up the Haas control? How quick can they get to operate and program the machine? What we've done, we've started to take apprentices and trainees, and we train them on it immediately, and we tend to find within a month they can operate the machines, which we think is very good. It just shows how easy these machines are to operate. And you mentioned the number of machines you've got. What's the mix? You've got mini mills as well as we have, the bigger machines too? We have five mini mills and eight larger machines. And, and what's your opinion on the mini mill to machining centre scenario? Can you get the same out of a mini mill that you can out of these? No, they've both got their own part of the market, haven't they? A lot of our business is small, compact parts, ideal for the mini mills, high spindle speed, get the material off quickly. With the larger machines, it's for the gas and oil mainly. There's lots of work we do for that much stronger materials but they're a good strong robust machine and get the material off quite quickly. Because you've got a fourth axis unit on there as well so you're doing some indexing? Yeah we've got fourth axis on four of our machines, three of the big ones and one of the small ones so we do it and we do quite a lot of fourth axis work. Now one of the things I mentioned in the opening to this video is actually uh, one of these machines here is going out tomorrow because you've got a brand new one coming in from Haas correct? Correct yes the oldest machine is 14 years old it, we decided that was old enough. It's not giving us any real problems, but we like to keep up to date. It's getting a new machine in tomorrow, brand new fourth axis, a new generation of fourth axis from Haas. And so we're looking forward to getting that in and learning how to use it. How are they going to get it in? With difficulty. <laughs> That's their problem, not That's yours. Their, that is their problem, absolutely. Not it's mine. good to see the continuing investment in the mill inside. Also, you do turn him, so let's yeah. go and head through there. Okay, fine. So we'll start here on the turning, Jeff. This is your latest machine that you bought from Haas. This is the ST20. Why did you buy it? It was ideal because we have an SL10 ST30. This is the mid-range of that, and we needed something to fit between the two. And same with the Haas and the Fanuc controls. This was beautiful for that. Okay, let, let's open the door because I want to. I yeah. want to go and. Uh, I know we've 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 deliberately taken the parts off here today so we yeah. can look at the build inside That's the right. machine because I know when you when you buy your machines, you, you are tackling some pretty tricky materials and parts. You like something with a bit of weight and rigidity, correct? That is correct. That's why we chose this particular machine for the contracts we have on gas and oil. We need to start to get the material off quickly. This machine capable of doing that. 
And is it is it a straight turning machine, or you got driven tools as well? This, this is just a turning machine. There's no other axis on this particular machine. But you didn't need it because you you got milling machines where you can do your second hopping if you need it. That's right. And we do have another machine with the with live tooling on as well. So we do anything required. We do that on another machine. Now I can see a little bit of material uh, a glint in my eye down here, and I'm going to pick this up because this uh, it's pretty heavy. What what is this, Jeff? What are you doing? This is super duplex. This is roughed out for gas and oil. We have to rough it out so it settles down before we finish it. So it comes out of a reasonably large billet, as you can see, and it's just, just been finished. It's now sitting, settling, before we do the next ops. So what are you roughing this on? On the ST30. On the ST30. And, and do you know what, what sort of depths are cut? You don't, I mean, you, you've got to get a lot of material out of there. You, you drilling? Yeah, we're using a 40 mil U drill, uh, 500 revs, uh, 0.1 per rev. So it's getting the material out quite quickly. And in this turning area, so you've got one, two, and then you've got three, the smaller turning set. That's a good mix for you. That's right. It fits us exactly for what we need to do. And that's why we got ST20 a couple of years ago. Now, I suggest a pretty crazy question, but you wouldn't have all these HASS machines if you weren't happy with not just their service, but their application support and things like that, and how they manage to fit the machines through your doors, I suppose. Getting those machines through the door is a challenge to all of us, but it's their challenge, not mine. But the machines are reliable, the service is good from them, and if we have any issues, they're very responsive to them. Even where you're positioned in South London, because it was a real devil for us to get here today, but they get here quickly when you need them. They do, they have engineers all over the country, and we do have one reasonably local to us. Okay, and then your business then, Jeff, where, where are you going in the future? Are you going to stick around in this building, or are you going to uh, expand further? We have begun to talk about expanding the business maybe into next door if they move away or if not into another factory locally and when you talk about expanding you're going to look to get into new markets you're going to look to make different componentry what we're looking about is maybe getting a, a five axis and that would be another Hass machine we've identified it already so if we do go that way we get Hass five axis well thousands of people watch our videos Jeff and I'm sure if there are buyers and engineers out there looking for a machine shop that can satisfy by both, both turning and milling requirements on difficult steels and complex parts could be you guys couldn't it it most certainly could we're always looking to enter new markets and find new customers